Welcome to the channel. This is Chris from Offroad Nation 606. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're already subscribed, make sure that you hit the bell button. That way you'll know anytime I post. Uh, only a small percentage of my subscribers have hit the bell button. So just make sure you hit that so you'll know whenever I post a video. So if you remember in the last video, I said I'm going to be V8 swapping the XJ. I wanted you all to pick what engine I'm going to be putting in the Jeep. And I said I'm either going to do the 5.3 Vortec or the 5.7 Hemi. Alright, so let's go look at what we're going to put in the XJ. Okay, so here is the new engine for the XJ. So we got a 5.7 Hemi. So this is out of a 2006 Jeep Grand Cherokee. So I got a good deal on this Jeep. It's not in the best shape ever was. It's got some clear coat peeling and the hood's kind of rough. But the engine runs really good. But I wanted to get a whole vehicle instead of just the engine. That way I'll have all the harnesses and everything I'm going to need to do the swap. So as you know, the XJ still has the 4.0 in it, and it does pretty good if you leave it four low. You can definitely tell if there's 38s on it. And I figure it'd be pretty cool, and you don't see it very often, to put a Hemi in the XJ. So I've been searching around for a while, and I found several different uh, 5.3 engines. I got to thinking about it. Seems like a lot of people does LS swaps all the time and you don't see many Hemi swaps. It's very rare to see anybody doing a Hemi swap in the XJ. I might have found three people that has done the Hemi swap. And really the reason I think that is it involves more work. There's not as much uh, support for these engines to do the swap with. I could have got a 5.3, that had been pretty easy to swap in there, and been done in no time. But I want to do something different on the channel, something that most people don't do. But I was looking through Facebook Marketplace, and I happened to see this Jeep here. Uh, interior is kind of rough, the outside the clear coat's peeling. It is the limited model, so of course it's got the sunroof and leather seats. I wish the seats were in a little bit better shape because I would probably swap those over to the XJ. But I still might use the seat bases off this and uh, make it where my Jeep's got power seats. But I'm not really too worried about that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do a start up on it and let you hear the engine. Now, one of the owners before me has cut the exhaust system off. It is kind of loud but I think it sounds pretty good. So let's start this up and let you all hear the engine. So as you can hear, it sounds pretty good. That'll probably be the last time you hear it run for a little while until we get it in the Jeep. Because now I've got to start getting everything off this and get ready to pull the engine out. And then we'll be bringing the XJ in here and we'll start taking the 4.0 out of it and start seeing everything we got to do to get this Hemi in there. So I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. So a while back we reached our goal of hitting a thousand subscribers. I know that's kind of small for some channels but uh, I didn't really think I'd ever get 50 so I appreciate your support.